we're known as the hometown of David Crockett and, uh, and uh, the hometown of Fred Thompson, but there's other folks uh, who aspired to, to bigger and better things and uh, uh, just became uh, tops in their field. And, and one of those folks that we're going to honor today uh, is Michael Jeter. I never had the opportunity to know Michael personally, but I uh, was just dear friends uh, uh, with his mother and father. And uh, Amanda, his sister, is here today. So if you come up here with me. Uh, unless you've moved, uh, she lives somewhere between Killen and St. Florine, uh, and uh, she hasn't had a computer problem since I've been down there. Uh, <laughs> that's, so. that's, that's true. That's, I'm no, still paying for it, though. That's exactly right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, uh, Amanda, today we want to honor your brother and uh, read this proclamation. Uh, and uh, as we said earlier, we're, we're going to uh, uh, find some structures or something that we can name in his honor also, and so we want to do that also. So. Uh, this is a proclamation from the Office of the Mayor of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Whereas Michael Jeter was born in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee on August the 26th, 1952, and whereas Michael grew up in Lawrenceburg, one of six children born to Dr. William Claude Jeter and his wife, Virginia, and whereas Michael was a student at Memphis State University, which is now the University of Memphis, when, he, when his uh, interest turned from medicine to acting. And whereas Michael left Tennessee to pursue his stage career in Baltimore, Maryland, he won a Tony Award in 1990 for his performance in the Broadway musical Grand Hotel and an Emmy Award in 1992 for his role in the television sitcom Evening Shade. He also won an Out Outer Critics Circle Award, a Drama Desk Award, and the Clarence DeWint Prize, as well as being nominated for many others. And whereas his acting career began in 1979 in movies, on stage, and on television, Michael's outstanding career was much the pride of Lawrenceburg and Lawrence County. The untimely death of Michael in 2003 left his family, friends, and fans, as well as our community, saddened with the loss of him and the beloved characters he portrayed. Now therefore be it proclaimed, the city of Lawrenceburg celebrates the life and career of a hometown boy that shined among the stars of Hollywood and the citizens delighted knowing that he was from Lawrenceburg. We take pride in the accomplishments of Michael Jeter and wish to commemorate him throughout Lawrenceburg and Lawrence County as one of our own. Let's give him a hand. I called my mom. My mom is still alive. And um, I told her this this honor and she was deeply touched, just deeply touched. and. Um, she wanted everybody in Lawrenceburg to know she thinks of you every day, misses every one of you, and is just so proud that Mike was recognized for this honor. You know, my brother was so talented, but out of all the different and varieties of actors he played, his most proudest one was Mr. Noodle's brother, Mr. Noodle on Sesame Street. He liked that one. Oh, he loved that one because children recognized him and would run up to him and say, Mr. Noodle. And he just thought that was just grand, as opposed to when he was the mean clown in Air Bud and he mistreated the dog and he'd take his dog to the dog park in Hollywood. And pe little kids would run away from their mom going, that's the mean clown. So anyway, Mike really enjoyed his craft. He had so many friends and peers that looked up to him and he mentored Tom Hanks, Kevin Costner, Robin Williams. They were his buds and he just enjoyed working with those guys so much. When you were growing up, what was he like around the house? Oh my goodness. You never knew what the, what the next day was going to be. Uh, my grandparents had an ottoman and this ottoman was the stage. And six siblings, can you imagine, fighting over acting and performing on the stage? And uh, I think my oldest sister inherited the stage, but she's not the actor. And uh, But Mike was always talented, and I think as siblings and a family, when we went to church, I know of a family that would on purpose sit behind us because they never knew what the Jeter kids were going to perform or, or, or act out in church. So, But uh, Mike had... He, he always brought something different to the table, whether it was a food fight or an acting of some character, but it was a joy to grow up in the Jeter family, and no longer the Jeter family is in Lawrenceburg, but the memories are, and they are wonderful. Every time I cross the city limits into Lawrenceburg, it's like coming home. It's wonderful. 